If you're shopping for a sporty luxury sedan, it's pretty easy to think only of German cars. There's a reason that this segment was sometimes referred to as the 3 Series segment. But don't forget that there are a lot of other interesting choices out there, including this one that's built right here in Michigan. It's the Cadillac ATS. Now, even more than five years after this car was first introduced, I still think it's a very interesting and compelling choice in this segment. So let's dive in and see what the ATS is like. How does it look? The ATS went on sale in 2012, but I still think it looks fresh today. Cadillac's styling language is definitely different from most rivals, with strikingly sharp lines and lots of straight edges that give it a lot of curb appeal. Details like the swept-back headlights and the way the third brake light is a V-shaped spoiler really appeal to me. How's the storage? At 10.4 cubic feet of space with a kind of tight opening, you won't fit as much in the back of the ATS as you will in, say, an Audi A4, BMW 3 Series, or Mercedes C-Class. But fortunately, you can easily fold the back seats down, so you should have no trouble getting in enough suitcases for a weekend trip. There's an average amount of space in the center console, two cup holders, and then an additional semi-hidden compartment for wirelessly charging your phone. You can also store a few more beverages in the door pockets, although they are on the small side. Is it roomy? The front seat has adequate head and legroom, though it does feel a little narrower than in some competing cars. And on the passenger side, an uneven floor and a lump sticking out of the transmission tunnel make things a little bit claustrophobic. The back seat also feels cramped. By the spec chart, there's around two inches less legroom than competing German sedans. I wouldn't necessarily choose to ride back here for an all-day road trip. How does the interior feel? The inside of the ATS is a nice place to spend time. This one's dressed up with wood trim, chrome, leather, and so on and so forth. But sometimes when you look around, it can feel like there are a lot of materials jammed in next to each other. When you look here at the dash, we've got black leather, wood trim, chrome, and then light-colored trim. And then when I go to the center stack as well, although the functionality of this touch capacitive controls works pretty well, I do end up feeling like I get a lot of fingerprints stuck all over this piano black trim. Is it well equipped? The ATS can be equipped with pretty much all the tech goodies we expect on a modern car in its segments. On this tester in particular, that means things like heated seats and a heated steering wheel, a reconfigurable color trip computer, wireless phone charging, navigation, active safety features like pre-collision and blind spot warnings, plus a V-Performance exhaust upgrade and V-Sport brakes, both of which we'll talk about a little more later. How's the infotainment system? The 8-inch touchscreen works very well, certainly more smoothly and simply than the earliest versions of the Cadillac user experience software. You'll find support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, an available 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, and even integration for cloud-based driver profiles that let you carry your preferences, like favorite destinations and radio presets, from one Cadillac to another. Is it a good daily driver? I've been using this ATS as my daily driver for the past couple of days, and it's been a really nice place to spend time, whether I've been on the highway or driving around in the city or what have you. The ATS does a great job of keeping me insulated from the pothole-ridden roads around here, or it keeps things pretty quiet, even when you're driving quickly on the highway. And it's just easy to drive, easy to see out of, easy to use all of the controls, a very nice place to spend time if it is your daily driver. Is it fun to drive? It is fun to drive. Obviously, if I had my choice, I'd prefer to be driving that 464 horsepower ATS-V that, if you look back in the archives, we've covered in Why Buy before. But you know what? A lot of what makes the ATS-V fun is still present in this standard one. For instance, really direct and precise steering. There's a good amount of feel through the steering. It's very quick to turn in. A chassis that's nimble and pretty playful, especially in this rear-wheel drive model. Now, in terms of acceleration, we've got the 2-litre turbo engine. It's got 272 horsepower, 292 pound-feet of torque, and that power is distributed really nicely through the 8-speed automatic transmission. There's a lot of punch from this engine. It feels really, really quick and eager and willing at all times. Now, I mentioned earlier that we had a special exhaust on this. We've got a V-Sport Performance exhaust upgrade, and it does sound a little bit more vocal than other ATS 2-litres I've driven. It's not so loud that it's going to annoy you when you're using it as a daily driver, but it's something that just 
just makes it sound a little more special and of course you've got the visual of those V-branded tips out back. One other thing that's really cool about this car in terms of chassis and handling dynamics is that every ATS has Brembo front brakes, which is definitely a really cool upgrade there. Four piston calipers with aluminum to save weight. And on this test car in particular, we've got a special V-Sport brake upgrade. So we've got the slotted rotors, we've got painted calipers, new brake pads. And what it means is that when you're driving enthusiastically, stopping performance is awesome, more than enough to keep this car in check at all times. But ultimately, I think what I like more than perhaps just the sheer stopping power is the feel of the brake pad. Some of this car's competition, because they're a little more luxury focused, the brake pedal can be a little soft, it can have a sort of a long travel initially. And this one, it firms up really quickly, it's very, very easy to modulate, and it gives you that really nice torque responsiveness. And I think that's what makes the ATS stand out to me in this class, is that whenever you're driving it, quickly or slowly or whatever, because there's a lot of feedback from the steering wheel and the brake and all through the chassis, it's just a car that is exciting and fun to drive at all times. How's the fuel economy? This rear-wheel drive 2.0-litre turbo ATS sedan delivers 22 miles per gallon city, 31 mpg highway and 25 mpg combined on premium fuel. Now that's not as good as most of its competitors, comparable 2.0-litre Audi, BMW and Mercedes models all deliver 27 mpg combined. How much is it? Pricing for the ATS sedan starts around $36,000, with this test car listing for just above $47,000. Adding all-wheel drive costs $2,000 extra. Those numbers are pretty much in line with the Cadillac's direct competition. What are the negatives? Compared to other luxury sports sedans in its segment, the ATS just feels more cramped, both in terms of trunk and passenger space. And it doesn't necessarily have as many new novel technologies as its rivals either. Who should buy it? The Cadillac ATS is a great choice in this segment because it looks great and it's a lot of fun to drive. Now, if you're looking for something that leans a little more to the luxury side of things, well, there are other cars worth considering too. But if having fun and being involved every time you get behind the wheel is a priority, well, the ATS is an excellent choice. If you were paying attention, you might have noticed I was wearing a new watch. This is the Strat 3, designed by famed Formula One technical illustrator Giorgio Piola. To find out more, visit GiorgioPiola.com.